Absolutely. But if God doesn't speak, but he makes language, no, do you he, see my point? How, how, how God does gives he... us something, but he, has, he doesn't have that. Then what kind of God, I, God I, is? I, I agree. But I am saying God is the ultimate source of everything we exactly, know. Exactly, yes. Everything we know and everything we don't know. And everything we will never know. God is yes, the ultimate. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. So when, when we, the Muslims, have a very comprehensive view of God, actually our view, uh, I, I claim quite humbly with humility, yeah. that our view is the most comprehensive view of God in all human philosophies. Yes. Put together. Yes. Judaism, Christianity, Hinduism, Ve yeah. Vedic uh, philosophies. You know, you know what? And, I will yeah. agree with you because if yeah. I would have any religion, I would be, uh, I would practice Islam. Islam. Certainly. <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging that. Hopefully one day you will choose to follow a religion. The reason why we are Muslims is not because we yes. are blind followers and we just feel comfortable about Islam or we are born in Muslim families. In yes. my case, at least, I have thoroughly examined Islam in the light of uh, our current that. realities before I, before yeah. accepting what if my ancestors were wrong yeah. what if they just chose the wrong religion and i'm following this religion it's not blindly just the faith for right you. it's not just the faith for right. me right. i have right. studied christianity right. judaism i've briefly looked at hinduism and buddhism as well okay. and i find islam to be most satisfying intellectually yes. uh, spiritually so. it's very satisfying when you practice it it it, it bears fruit yes. i can see fruits in my own family yes. my own close friend when they practice yes. Islam they, they blossom in ways that yes. cannot be described in words yes. so I believe but if you don't see God then the family is good but Allah in the Quran says right if I'm not if yeah. correct me if I'm wrong yeah, yeah. that love me more than your daughters your your uh, your your children your uh, your mother your, your family love me more than than them so if we don't, if we see our children, if we see our, our family, but we don't see Allah, then... 100%. We, ha we are told as Muslims, we have to love God more than anyone yes. or anything. Why? Because He is the one. Yes. He is the reason we have everything. Yes. He is the reason we have parents. Yes. Those we love. Yes. We love our parents. We love our children. We love our wives. We love our neighbors. We love our friends and colleagues. We love them because someone put them there yes. and because that someone put them there he deserves our love more than all of them put together because he's the cause so that's why god requires that love of us it is justice yes. it is it's it is nothing but justice to love your creator more than anything so won't and you anyone be interested in, in seeing him and knowing absolutely like? we have been told that when we die yes. there is another life after this uh, yes. uh, this life Yes. Uh, this is not the end. This is only the beginning, yes, right? This is yeah. Um, we we will be resurrected uh, after we die. Almost we will, reincarnation, something like uh, that. I, we don't call it reincarnation or something. Okay. If, if you want to use that word, yes. uh, if you understand your reality or our reality yes. in, uh, by those words, okay, no, problem no problem with that. But we use the word resurrected. We resurrected. will be resurrected. We will be brought back to life, and then we will be paid back for our deeds, good or bad, right? So for that reason. We work for that life and when we get to that life, God will give us the ultimate pleasure, which is what? He will reveal himself. We will see him like we oh, see the sun okay. or like we see the moon. That's what's in our tradition, why we address God as Rama, yeah. Rahman, but in, our, uh, in Sanskrit it means the reservoir of all pleasure. Right. God is yes. the only pleasure. Here, yeah. so, so we have everything this. Everything is haram. No, no. Here yes. is a test. You yes. have to confine yourself yes. from all these pleasures you may see around you. Uh, for your betterment, for the betterment of the society and at the same time you're, you're obedient to God's commands, right? Having done that, the reward will be the pleasure of God yes. and He will reveal Himself to His Which special... Yes. Again, the word Him yes. is a convenient term yes. we use. We can use it, Him, She, what other words do we have? Yes. We have to have invent any word. He introduced Himself as Him, yes. not because He is a gender. Yes. But, you, but you're yeah. not going to be surprised if you, when you see him, you're going to see that he is a male, for example, right? If, okay, look, when we see him and if he, if he appears to be in, in, a, in a particular form or shape, yes. whatever it is, yes. we, we can't change it. This right. is what he is. This is how he is. Exactly. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we That's will accept, point. yeah, and, and, yes. and, and we will be so pleased, we have been told by Prophet Muhammad, when you see God, yes. that you will fall in prostration immediately your your um, your natural reaction will be 
that you will fall in prostration because yeah. you will realize oh, it's like a yeah. stick yeah Straight so like we are we have been told he's beautiful uh, in in the reports prophet prophet muhammad he said allahu jamil wa yuhibbul jamal allah is beautiful mm, jameel, and he right. uh, yeah he, and he loves uh, beauty yes. so this is why beautify yourselves so we in islam we have a duty to be clean, to be tidy, to be beautiful, to be pleasant looking. Yes. We can't be scruffy, dirty, smelly. We can't because we have been told to look beautiful because your God is beautiful and he likes yes. beauty yes. and he rewards you for beauty. This is why when you see, when you go on the day of Eid, yes. you see all these Muslims come out with, <laughs> with nice clothes, nice, lavishly it's dressed. Very attractive. Yeah. Yeah. And God is attractive too. That's, Absolutely. That's why we address God as Krishna. Krishna yes. means all attractive. Okay. Okay. But again, coming to the that's what attracted me that's right. what you asked so the form of god yeah. but god as as like. as as a sincere believer you would like to worship uh, god in the form he wants you to worship him right yes and for that you this need you need the pure message of god right yes okay and vedars yes. what you're following now i can tell you and you can go go, go and do your own research are not pure they have been added to, they have been altered, they have been corrupted, beyond recognition. The only pure word of God we have on the planet today, yes. a word that claims to be from God is the Quran. So where is the form of God there? The form is completely hidden from us. We don't know. We have no idea and he has deliberately hidden his form because he tells us that the true believers are the ones who believe in the unseen. Yes. Okay. Those who believe in the ghaib, ghaib is unseen. We haven't seen God, yet we believe in him because of his signs. He has signs all over us, in your face. God's signs are all over us. We see him everywhere, but we don't see him. You see, so this is why, this is why <laughs> someone's been disturbed. Uh, so this is why we believe Quran to be the most comprehensive description indicator of God and I invite you to study it I invite you to study the Quran yes S sit down seriously put aside your conditioning for a few moments yes. and start reading through it with a blank mind yes. and see if it's true yes. then what well, the, if, I, if it's a true way to God I your creator I was missing the, the form of God and I tested it too like they're all there there are different arguments that the, maybe the, that particular identification of God in the Vedas or the Bible or so many other books are not correct. But if you do take to a particular, like speaking like now, if you put every, all the scriptures on on the scale and you look for the form of God, it's simply it's not there. You know, the, the Vedas May, are the perhaps, only one who perhaps you, Perhaps you're looking for a particular God uh, and, and, and you no, can't... Not a particular, but mm. if I ask a Christian or a Muslim or a Jew or, or even a Hindu, I ask him how God looks like, they have no idea. They don't tell you specifically. Why, why do they have to know? For their God to be true, yes. why do they have to know what he looks like? If you haven't seen I, your father, I, if you haven't seen yes. your father, mm -hmm. if you've never met your father, yes. and we know you have a father, yes. does that mean your father is not your father? No, it doesn't mean it's, that. Thank you. Like so, so like if, see him. if you want to see him, you have to be patient. You can't. You know, it's, you can't be like a child who goes to oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, who goes to a sweet shop and he starts crying I that want I want all those sweets <laughs> and I want them now. Yes. And the parents are saying, no, 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 they're not good for you yet. Yes. Wait, grow up, yes. get to that level where you can choose sweets, and yes. then you can. God I is. Waited for a long time for this revelation. Wait more, wait more, yes. wait more, and you will see God. Yes. If you really truly want to see God, you have to follow His way. What? And if you are following a way that's corrupted, that's man-made or yes. that has human interpolations yes. then okay. you are putting your soul That's in exactly danger what i wanted to ask like yeah. if someone let's say claims he's seen god yeah what will be an evidence for that that you would accept that he has seen god uh we Beside, want like scripture and things like that like something that logically uh, how, how how do we know he's seen god sorry if someone saw god yes. how do we know that what he saw was god yes how do we know well that's what i ask you uh, we don't know. It's subjective. If I claim, if I come, if I come tomorrow and I say I saw God, and God had uh, 50 heads, he had 1,000 uh, arms, and he looked like a beast, yeah. and that was that God. Doesn't, doesn't mean anything to me. Like Thank you. you. Say, Thank you. If, yeah. if anyone, because there are Christians there, they yeah. come and tell us that they saw Jesus yeah. in a vision, 
and we no Jesus in a vision. They saw Jesus in a vision, and we asked them, "How do you know that was Jesus?" So anyone claiming to see have, to 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 uh, to to have seen God. Yes. Well, Jesus, let's say there is some sort of description, right, of like of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, there's a description. So if you've seen him, you can address him according to that description. But how do we know which description is true? Exactly. Unless it is so from God, from himself. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm saying, let's, if we put scriptures aside. Sorry? Moses if, wanted to see God. Yes. But that's, again, a Judeo Christian um, story. I don't know, our friend who follows Vedas. It's uh, yeah, it's mentioned in the Quran, it's mentioned in the, the Bible, right? Of course. And Allah says, Lam tarani. Okay, you will never see me, right? Okay, so you will never see me in this life. Okay, in the oh, hereafter. That was specifically for him. No, it was for all humans. In this life, you will not see. This is a test. Look, if yes. God reveals Himself, yes. if He opens, the, if He opens yes. the sky and He shows Himself, I am your God. Do you think any of these people will disbelieve? Yes, they can. They have the, God gave us something which He cannot take. He gave us free will. Yes. He's not like a, like well, a dictator. But the Quran you know? says the same thing, actually. <laughs> that Otherwise, even if God so was to reveal prophets. Himself, there will be some who will say, We haven't seen God. Oh, we see? don't believe yet. Oh, yes. Yes. So yes. The Quran says that. The Quran says that, actually. I can feel that. Yeah. I, can feel that. I just remembered. So the point is, there are, there are reasons why God has well, given us. symptoms that yeah. we can recognize someone who's seen God. Not by what he says or what he speaks. But why do you have to see God? Have you seen God? Have you seen God? If I tell you yes, you will believe me? No. But have you so seen why do you no, but, no, no, because we would, if you would say yes, then we would ask you the evidence. Oh, and that's it. Have you seen God? Me or anyone is besides the point. Greatest but I'm trying reward. to promote the evidence. But how, For me, the evidence. Let's, let's say you have seen God. Okay. But how do you know what you saw was actually your, your God, your creator? By the symptoms, I would say. Who defines the symptoms? Who defines the symptoms? Wait. Who defines, who will define the symptoms? Are these symptoms uh, your own concoction, your own thinking? Well, you you or? mentioned yourself uh, like corruption. That there is, there is, there are many times people that profess to know God or to love God, but they corrupt. No, no. When you say this is God and you know by symptoms or qualities or characteristics, who defines those characteristics? Not, not of God, but someone who is godly. Let's say... How do we know who's godly? How do we know who's godly? I think that's a very good point. You know what he's asking you, mate? Yes. Uh, just to clarify, yeah? He's asking you, if you're saying, let's assume you yeah. said you saw God, yeah? Okay. Who defines those properties that you're taking as that he's God? And how do you know those properties are the true properties? Yes. They, could, they could be wrong. You could, you could have adopted wrong properties of God and you end up with the wrong God. Yes. And you might see a demon or a jinn well, or think, something like I that or some spirit. Right. I think there's a common line of dignity and purity in all religions that we call, all can agree on. You know, like for example, like the Ten Commandments. I think. No, but but I our think agreements, everyone. our agreements are not necessarily the criteria to judge God. These are some very deep, important no, not questions. God, not God, but ourselves. Our yes. Own dignity. No, but when we say we see, we, we have seen God. How do we yes. know we saw God? By our own purity. If God purified us. Okay. Let's say you think you're pure. But how, what if you are not really pure? You, you, first first some, of all, I, I, I have to say I'm not pure. No, no, I'm not saying you are saying yes. that. I'm saying, mm -hmm. you're saying some people, mm -hmm. when they become pure, they have the these ability to... They go, go, go. But what if these qualities are actually not godly? They have nothing to do with God. Oh, yeah, we have to agree on... The, on we, yeah, there's a Buddhist monk qualities. sitting in a cave for 30 years. Yes. Or there's a Muslim imam Yes. You know, who is very pure, godly. Yes. How do we know he's godly? If he's, if he's wrong, if he's following the wrong path. Yeah, we should agree on some of these qualities. Let's say, like I say, lust and greed, for example. No adultery, not even in the mind. Or no, uh, no corruption, no greed. We believe... Who is seen God, he is pure from the right We believe it's humanly impossible to be completely pure. To imagine what God is. That's why. Uh, firstly, it is impossible, humanly impossible, yeah. to be completely pure. We believe that. Mm. Uh, and we know well, that by experience... Yeah, we cannot see God if we not... Pure. No, no, no. Here, this is why we will not see God here. Mm. Because we will never be completely pure. That's an answer to your question. Well, if we see God, we're not here. <laughs> Even if we're here, we're not here. We actually do see God we indirectly. Dimension. We do see God's signs. Yes. We see, we see God. We see, we see God's creation and we know this is all made by someone. So we do see God in a, in, in a form 
that we may not accept. Yeah, we call it impersonal. You, you, form. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yes. So we do see God yes. indirectly, yes. but God as Himself, yes. as He is, yes. no one has seen Him, and we will only see Him yes. when we die and we we are resurrected to receive our recompense. Yes. And on that note, I will have to end. Thank, thank you, Abdul. What, what was your name? Uh, Ram Chandra. Like Ram, Al Rahman. Rama. Okay, R Rama. Ram, Ra Rama, Rama. 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 Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. And thank I'm going to uh, oh, take. Do you have a card from your uh, channel? Uh, I don't, actually. Uh, I don't. I was, I was thinking for a second. He's, sh he's shaking the hand of a hijabi woman. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs>